Taylor, can you walk me through your diagnosis with Herb's palsy at a young age? Um, well, when I was born, uh, I was 10 pounds, and it was a bit difficult to get me out, I guess, and I didn't want to come out. <laughs> so they ended up having to pull me out, and they pulled me by my arm, my left arm. And when they did that, they damaged all the nerves and the tendons. So, like, originally I was just supposed to pin my arm to my shirt and just, you know, live through my childhood and not do anything about it. Um, but I started seeing like a bunch of therapists and whatnot, so um, my parents started that right away as soon as they found out that I was never supposed to be able to do sports or really be a normal kid. So did the herbs palsy ever affect you in gymnastics? No, it did not. Um, it did when I was younger, like my brother or my dad would pick me up and it would pop out all the time and we'd have to go to the hospital to get it reset like three to four times a week. or. I mean, it happened when I was really young, but honestly, this is my stronger shoulder now. Like, I don't know, I, I haven't had any, any issues with it at all, so. What do you think overcoming this challenge says about you as a person? Um, that I don't give up. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. I think it's really cool to say that, I mean, not cool, but it's cool to say that I overcame it. Like you're saying, um, I wasn't supposed to be able to do sports, now I have a full ride to, you know, a division one school, so honestly, it's great. I love it. <laughs> what advice would you give to somebody in a similar position who's trying to overcome a challenge that may prevent them from participating in athletics? Um, I'd say not to give up, and there's always options. Um, I mean, there are things that can't, you know what I mean, be helped or changed, but honestly, like, I think there's always a way if you're persistent and you just keep trying. Who or what would you attribute your success in gymnastics to? Um, probably my first and second coach. I started out with a, he, his name is John Tobler. He was like the first man to dri uh, dive off Acapulco without dying. <laughs> um, he helped me a lot with like spatial awareness and like, I don't know, everything I guess. And then my second coach, Brian Huff, he originally taught me everything I know and taught me like to be determined, to never give up, to you know, always give my best. And he kind of got me where I am today. So. What made you decide to transfer to ASU from a national powerhouse at Utah uh, in gymnastics? Um, it just wasn't for me, honestly. It was completely different from what I thought I was going to be getting out of it. They told me I'd be a superstar, and obviously that's like glamorous, and I thought it was going to be great. It just wasn't the right fit for me. Um, not saying that it's not for other people. It just wasn't for me. I didn't. I just didn't feel like I fit in there. And you know what I mean. I, but I love it here. I feel like I fit in. 100 times better here. <laughs> what made you originally choose to come to ASU instead of Utah? Um, well, one, the weather is great. <laughs> um, I liked John, um, and it didn't really change my mind or anything or make me weary about a new coaching staff or whatever. Honestly, I, I was fine with whatever. But um, I knew people out here, like I know Carissa Krause on the team, and she helped me get out here and feel comfortable. And my best friend from home actually lives here too. So. Why do you do gymnastics? Because other people can't. It's uh, scary, but it's very rewarding at the same time. Um, I don't know, I love it. <laughs> uh, how do you feel being the only new athlete on the team this year? Uh, it doesn't bother me. Uh, like I said, I, I was already at Utah, so I kind of went through the whole process of being in college, and I know some of the girls here, and my best friend, I live with her, she's not an athlete, but you know what I mean? It helped everything like flow, and. It doesn't bother me at all. What would you attribute your successes to this season? You know, three amazing meets in the all-around uh, so far. Do you like being in the all-around? Is that uh, somewhere you see yourself moving in the future? Yeah, no, I hope to definitely stay in the all-around. Um, I think that anything I can do to help the team out is, you know what I mean, great, and I'm happy to do it, and I don't know. I am comfortable doing all the events, and Renee has always been there. Jeff has always pushed me on bars, and Ralph has been there for floor and vault. Um, I don't know. I love every event, so 